it forever. <laughs> We're in pink and solidarity today, Joe, because it's a very important month. It Everyone is. really likes how you two look. You dress so sharp today. Thank you. You know, is it, you know there's a lot of like really like important fashion people here. So, uh, you know, I think that you would impress them. Well, I think it's all about the pink blazer myself. It, you know, it's all about the pink theme because there's such an important message. Breast Cancer Awareness Month now has begun. That's right. And obviously, this is a very personal story for you. Absolutely. I mean, every October, um, I just think it's important uh, having a whole month to really focus on raising awareness. And uh, the bottom line with breast cancer and breast cancer organizations, a lot of people are weirded out or freaked out or they, they have issues surrounding large organizations, but the bottom line is the women, the people, and, and the cancer patients and their families, so, so I think it's good. Let's go back to your story of uh, diagnosis. Did you have any symptoms? How did you, how did you get to the point where you got that? You no, know, I was lucky, and uh, a lot of people, a lot of young women specifically aren't that, um, you know, we're not into, uh, that's why I like Winset Farms has this campaign uh, surrounding, I love my tomatoes. It's yeah. something that, you know, and we can giggle at it and, and, and have fun with it. Uh, they're a local uh, farm here, uh, by the way. Um, uh, for us to be aware and do self-exams and... Uh, it's not natural for us. No, and, really. and it's kind of scary well, for many. It, it, it it's is like, scary. Oh, I don't want to find anything, but if this you do find something. But it's also daunting because boobs are weird. They feel weird. I know this might Whoa. be new for you, Riaz. I apologize. But there's you guys out there you like, don't really boobs know. are weird. You, can't, you, you feel like, well, I can't really differentiate what's normal anyway because right. they're just kind of weird. Do it anyway. And you found a lump. I found a chickpea. You found a chickpea. So here's the thing. Everybody goes, I don't know what it would feel like. Maybe it'll feel like a... a egg or something. No, I found what felt like a dried chickpea, like just a really hard thing here, up high. You know, if I could right now, I'd take my shirt off and show you my cool scar. Uh, but anyway, it was up high, it. so it's not, always, it's not always room. down here. Right. And that might have been missed in a mammogram so, high enough, right? Very possibly, but yeah. it, but mine wasn't, uh, and people are afraid of mammography because because it squishes, squishes and it hurts, and so people are, I'm not going, Go. It didn't hurt me. You know what? Shut up. Go. Yeah. Just, you know, suck it up. Just go. go. Just go. It's two seconds and, of and, your life. And feeling it up. Yeah. There's a there's an app that's available on the uh, Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation. Uh, they, they've done this app that is basically a reminder uh, to, to get you to do self-exams. And I think that's a really cool thing. And stuff like Run for the Cure. You know, it raises awareness. October being, you know, Breast Health Month, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, anything. Anything that keeps it in our brains uh, is, is really important because the, the key to women's survival, and what that means is, because it's a really easy thing to roll off the tongue, but it means whether or not you live. Live. It's not about you know, surviving and thriving as you know, big warriors. It's about your life. It is about living so that your children can see you as a strong and wonderful female role model that you are, you know, it's, it's really so, important. So what do you learn about yourself? You had a really personal struggle and I mean, you were an inspiration to many with, with what you were able to overcome and now, you know, pursue your passion all over again. What do you remember about how intense the treatment was? And I guess, what did you learn going through that type of adversity? Well, you know, I learned more from other people than I ever did for myself. Basically, any woman has it within her, women and men too, have the capacity and the capability that they don't even uh, think about every day. You sent us a picture of you during treatment. Yeah, baby. Rocking you know. it, Yeah, right? but that's not my real chemo photo. That's me with makeup on. My real chemo photo, which every other chemo patient will tell you, was basically me looking like a very yellow naked frog very unattractive but you know it's fantastic. Look at you today vivacious and making great music and God touring bless, and God bless. loving now, it. And, and, you know it's uh, I learn more from other people and from other patients and from the nurses and volunteers at all of these organizations and the chemo awards and I still do and I love mm. working with uh, patients. I love the hospital environment. I should really go into this as a career. Hello, you should. people looking for administrators. Um, I like healthcare. I like patients. I like working with patients' families. It's just something I never would have known or discovered that I had a passion for unless I was thrown into the fire. I'm glad I have chemo under my belt. I'm glad that I can speak to my experience with radiation. I'm glad I can differentiate. Uh, with symptoms and everything. Before we wrap up, we have to talk about your loss of your dog. Oh, little sorry. poopy! I know. Yeah. We followed him on my Twitter. My baby. 
You know, it's so funny because some a dear friend of mine said, well, you know, the thing about it is you were like his ventriloquist on Twitter. I loved it. And I was like, yeah, you know, I always thought I would be able to keep tweeting. He was Nick Naked, at Nick Naked, <laughs> one word. And I that thought awesome. I would be able to keep keep tweeting because I was very pragmatic you know when you have a very old sick dog you're pragmatic you think that you know hey man he's been sick a long time I know you know yeah baby's gonna baby's gonna croak I know but I was devastated like incapacitated uh, and just it was such sadness. He was just such my little my little kid. He still walks with you though. Well, that's better to thing. have loved and yeah. lost than never to have loved a dog. Yeah, but I can't tweet as dead Nicholas. So I you're gonna have I to would, rescue one. But I can't. And I will. I give myself ready. one year. Good. When you're ready. 365. It's always a real 365. 365. Great story of yeah. empowerment and success and awareness. Go out, get squished, check yourselves, be a hero and a survivor like Biff Naked. We Aww. have to check in with the rest of the Kate now on weather. Hard act to follow again. <laughs> <laughs>